To obtain your own Rhino Ganatha, you need to be on the island or lost island maps and be in the highlighted swamp areas on the screen. This creature is currently very rare, the most I've seen on any map at one time is two. The first step is to locate a male Rhino Ganatha of any level and kill it to obtain its pheromones. I recommend carrying preserving salt or putting the pheromones in a fridge to stop it spoiling. Next you'll need a tamed creature with a high drag rate and a high level such as a Bronto or a Carcharodontosaurus that you are willing to sacrifice as the host creature will die in the process of you obtaining your Rhino Ganatha. Be aware that not every creature can be used as a host and you can check this by seeing if that creature will consume the pheromone or not. Once you have the pheromones and the suitable host creature, it's now time to find a female Rhino Ganatha. I recommend luring the female away from the swamp so it's a little bit easier, then go ahead and net gunner to immobilize it and then reduce its health to less than 10%. And then during that time, go ahead and feed your creature the pheromones. The female Rhino Ganatha will then impregnate your creature which can be identified by the changed aura and also the status vet on the top right hand corner. Then the Rhino Ganatha will also flee. It's important to note that cryopotting the host will result in the death of the baby so it's going to be a long walk home. During the impregnation period you'll see two timers on your creature. The first timer indicates how long until the juvenile Rhino Ganatha will emerge from your creature and the second timer represents the craving timer. Similar to an imprint timer, you have to complete the craving timer if you want to get a really good high level Rhino Ganatha with stats, and if you don't do that, then you've basically just wasted your time. The food that your creature can crave during this period will be shown on the screen right now, and based on my testing, larger creatures like the Carcharodontosaurus or the Bronto will allow you to complete 5 cravings, while smaller creatures like the Trike will only allow 3. I'm unclear if this is a bug, so just keep that in mind. Throughout the gestation period, you must ensure that your creature is healed and fed as well because while impregnated, the health and food levels drop rapidly. And if your creature dies before the Rhino Ganatha is born, both will perish. Similar to normal breeding, the baby Rhino Ganatha will inherit a combination of stats from either parents. However, the percentage of the inheritance depends on the number of cravings satisfied and the surrogate used according to the wiki. On the screen, I have three Rhino Ganatha offspring each born from a different Bronto, all three Brontos were level 225 and had identical stats except for one difference is that only one of them got all five cravings, resulting in a variety of levels and stats as you can see. I also did this with a trike that only allowed me to do three cravings and as well as I used two Carcharodontosaurus hosts and one of them has five cravings and the other one just has one. To achieve the best stats and the level for your Rhino Ganatha, three factors are in play. The first is the egg quality, which simply just means you need a high level Rhino Ganatha to reach its cap. The second is the host size, so that's the drag weight, so like a Kakaro or a Bronto. And then the final factor is the cravings, which if you complete them all, you're good to go. If you are successful in achieving those three guidelines, you will be able to get a high level juvenile Rhino Ganatha and proceed with the regular brazing process which includes imprinting and feeding it meat. The Rhino Ganatha cannot be bred since only males can be obtained, leaving cloning as the only option. However, through my testing as you can see on the screen, the highest level I can clone is level 82. Anything above that is not possible due to the cloning cost limit. Now that you got your own Rhino Ganatha, it's time to discuss what it can do. First off, the Rhino Ganatha has a control panel on the left hand side for reference of the controls, which you can disable. It also has three key boxes. The first one is its raw ability, the second is its ammo type, and the third is how much resin you have in the creature's inventory. Resin is key to carrying structures or creatures along with using its ammo and armor abilities. To get resin, all you need to do is put sap in the Rhino Ganatha's inventory and it will convert it over time. The saddle can hold two players who can both pull out weapons and shoot from it, and the saddle itself is unlocked at level 90 and can be crafted in the smithy. It has the fastest movement speed by default, able to outrun a wyvern or a tranodon, making it amazing to steal wyvern eggs. It is able to carry every creature a Quetzal can, and it has some creatures that only it can carry, such as a Diplo, allowing you to have your own party bus, and other creatures that are listed on the screen. It can also pick up structures and place them down, as you can see here. This will consume resin while you're doing this, by the way. It can also glide on water. All you need to do is just hover above the water until you see that little bit of a water effect and then press the land button and then you can just skate across. It can also swim quite quickly as well. However, while underwater, it can only use its melee and armor abilities. The Rhino Ganatha can also latch onto structures, which is kind of weird, but it's awesome at the same time. 
It has an armor ability as previously mentioned, which up against a standard auto tarrant, I reduce the damage by nearly half, as you can see. The next is its raw attack, which can only be used on land and will temporarily force both wild and player tamed creatures to flee. After the raw, you have to wait 30 seconds before you can use it again. It comes with three shooting abilities, and each one consumes a set amount of resin to use. Firstly, there's the rapid fire needle shot, functioning similar to that of an assault rifle, and since the Rhino Ganathic can hover, it makes this really easy to use. The next ammo type is a rocket projector, which held down will turn into a homing missile. Although slower than the rapid fire option, it deals increased damage, and the rocket also can apply the resin debuff, which will slow down creatures, eventually temporarily freezing them in place, and it will also disable tech gear. The final projectile is a glob of resin that upon impact explodes into a resin puzzle. Any creature or player caught within the puddle is quickly affected by the resin debuff while also taking damage. To swap between the projectiles, simply follow the on-screen instructions and the ammo icon will change accordingly to indicate which one you have selected. I also like to note that during my testing, I tried to use this against a bunch of tyrants on a metal foundation, but from my testing, I didn't do any damage to them. If you find yourself on the receiving end of the resin debuff, fear not, as long as you have a pike for example, you can free yourself or the encased creature from the effect. Now the Rhino Ganatha does have some vulnerabilities, such as it can be netted, it is also affected by the jellyfish, it is affected by the mammoth roar, however it is immune to the UD fear roar, out of all things. Finally the Rhino Ganatha has come with its own dossier which means if you now want to get the increased player level cap of 10 by getting all the explorer nodes, you're gonna have to tame a Rania Ganatha. Thanks for watching, I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.